Hello there, it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. Last video I gave an explanation of the capabilities of the off-centre turning and in this video I'm going to take the other half of what was chair leg and produce something out of it that we've probably all either done before but not necessarily with the off-centre turning and it's making a wand. And this is not a big piece of wood I could ideally do with something that's another three or four inches longer so it's going to be a miniature wand. The reason I wanted to use the off-centre turning on here is that wands, yes, can be nice and straight. I've made one in the past, but if they've got gentle curves in them, they look a little bit more natural, a bit like as if it's a piece of wood off the tree. So I'm going to mount this between centres first of all, and then get this mainly trued up. Now I've got my bit of chair leg here between centres. I'm just using a step centre, this end a small step centre. I probably won't be altering the central point on this end but it will just probably be on this end if i do this end it will only be probably be slightly now the first thing i want to do is get this trued up just got this trued up now it's still fairly thick uh, the handle will probably be about half the thickness of this and it's going to be fairly short like that now I haven't done any predefined mark points on here uh, and the reason for that is one I'm actually using the point on here I'm not really going to alter this end because I've just got a straightforward sharp point on this end and it's softwood it will sink in nicely anyway so I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to put it off centre by a very small amount so it's probably about three or four mil hopefully you can just see what it's doing there first thing I want to do is create a section on here which will then effectively I'm going to true this up and take it down to the finished size which will probably be around about maybe like the thickness of the tool here um, and I just want a section maybe an inch or so inch inch and a half long so just like I said before in the last video I'm watching this side for where I initially get my cut but then I should probably be watching the ghost of the image this side for where the cut goes so just need to lower the tool rest a bit just till I get established the cut So hopefully you can see there I'm just taking it this side to start with and I'll take this like I say carry on all the way down so that I will eventually like I say be taking out the full material on both sides. <laughs> So that's probably about the size that I want it now and just so that I can establish where I'm going to part this off uh, I'll just use my other spindle gouge just to put a slight end on there So what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to release this off, and I'm going to put that back to true centre. So we haven't moved much, but you can see already we're quite extreme on there. So now I'll work on this next section. And this is the important thing about the off-centre turning, especially when you're not sure what the shape is turning out like. 
take some material off, stop, inspect it, check that you're doing what you want to do. Now because you're doing off centre turning you are going to get these sharp edges on there and you'll have to just sand those out afterwards. Whereas I pulled it in this way last time I'm now going to do it the opposite way and then I will carry on on this next section. is I'm going to put this now back into center and because I've also got my previous marks still in there I can always go back to these other areas if I like so I might take this down this central bit down a little bit before uh, before I do this and I might even address this bit again so just make sure everything's locked down that's looking a lot better and I'm just going to take this bit down as well. So that's a lot, lot better now. That's thinner. And you can see that I've got odd little bits of tool marks there, but that will all sand out nicely. I now need to go back to centre. absolutely fine so now I will put this off center again to do the next section and I'll take a piece out of here and I'm getting to the point now where I need to do a handle as well so I might incorporate the handle all in one I'm just going to put this back on centre again now and now I'll just finish off and do the handle. just need to now just take that back a little bit so I'm just going to have to put this off centre again back to centre again now before I just define more of the parting off points this is now effectively finished as far as I'm going to go and I need to now just sand this all up so that I take out all these sharp edges and hopefully you can see that the, the gentle just movement on there has created more I suppose like a stick shape especially once we get rid of these so I'm going to start off with just some rough 80 grit and I mean, if possible, always sand along the grain. And this being pine, it's soft wood, so it's gonna come away a lot quicker. But even if you had something like hard, like oak or sapili, this would still sand down fairly quickly, those edges. So hopefully you can see there now how much of a difference that is. 
So I'm just going to carry on all the way round. So that's now took all these sharp edges off and I'm going to just go through the grits now to smoothen this all up. Now I've sanded this up to 320 and I want to just make the parting off points a lot smaller. What I'm going to do is so that this runs more central. I'm not bothered so much about this one so much because it's only a small point there anyway and it won't move much but I'm just going to take this one across so that it also runs central. I don't want to put too much pressure on this, just enough to for it to hold onto the step centre to drive. So that now these are both, this one's off a little bit, but certainly this one's running more central and I can then just part these, make these parting off points a lot smaller. And I'm just going to use my smaller skill on this because I've just got an easier reach to get into those smaller spaces. That there, a lot smaller fairly clean I just need to sand this one up more pine really does have a wonderful grain uh, especially like these pieces here absolutely love it the stripes running through it's almost a bit like a bit of zebrano and again these sort of bits showing on this side but it looks too new and too pale so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my walnut crystal mix this will darken up nicely now because I'm these are mixed with water it's obviously going to raise the grain so once it's dried out i then need to just sand it all back again so hopefully this will have a nice effect on it so i'm just going to let that dry off properly i'm going to sand it back because it will raise the grain and I might then give it some more coats. Now I've only just given this the one coat and just gently sanded it back with the 320 so it's really nice and smooth again and I really like the effect this has come up with and when I get a finish on this it's going to just pop again but I like to do the, the handle a little bit darker and what I'm going to do I've just got a little miniature blowtorch here so I'm going to burn the handle area and the good thing about this as well is what I'm going to do is that at least when I part off the ends, because I'm going to have some white bits, especially when I sand them back as well, I may well then just burn them again. So it's, it's a quick fix rather than trying to colour it and sand it in to get it all to match. But I've just got a small flame here. I'm just going to keep slowly going over this. To, so it's already coming up it's a lot darker. So that's just giving it that darker edge and I'll just gently sand over that again with the 320. It will obviously raise the grain a bit. So we've got a darker handle and then the brown on the rest there. So I'm going to part this off now and the idea is to when you do these rather than just part one end totally off because we're in between centers just take a small little bit from each end back and forwards until eventually one end parts off then at least there's a lot less to clear up Got a small area there to sand off and that's going to rip out of the bottom here so I just need to sand that back as well 
and then I shall just attempt to burn the ends. Now I've just parted this off and hopefully you can see there what I've done is I've just burnt the ends and sanded them back with 320 grit so it all blends in and the whole piece is nice and smooth it certainly doesn't look like a piece of pine to me. Now for a finish I'm just going to give this a coat of Danish oil and hopefully we'll see this sort of come to life. So I'll just leave that to cure to dry off a bit now and I should give that probably a, at least one or two more coats and let it fully cure. Now I gave this probably about half a dozen so coats of Danish oil in the end. Uh, left it about 20 minutes between coats. Really, really light coat, so it sort of dried out fairly quickly. And I've left this overnight and come in here this morning and I've just given it a buff up with just a piece of kitchen towel. And it's come up really, really nice. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. It's come up quite nice. And yes, it's small. I'm sure any eight year old would be pleased to have that. I could have used the walnut crystals to darken up the handle, but I just decided for speed, it's just quicker to burn it. And hopefully you can see also see on the ends as well, where, where I parted it off, sanded it nice and flat, and then again, burnt the ends so that they all tie in nicely. When you do the off center turning like that, because you can get these little ridges and sort of more tear out so it does require a little bit more sanding just to finish it off to me that hopefully that's a good example that's just doing gentle off center turning it's a bit uniform of equals lengths but hopefully that's a little bit a good example of how you can create more of a natural shape with off center turning now, of course it's no reason not to do things like that compared to that but it, hopefully it's just highlights you really as a different option to try something a bit more sort of gentle on the off-center turning than the extremes like that. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next project video.